Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Thursday. I'm gonna spend another 10 minutes in Blender and I'm gonna model myself a car. Oh, I don't even like VR. <laughs> what am I, 12? I'm gonna set myself aside 10 minutes to create a bunch of cars. I'm gonna try to make eight cars at least, maybe even more. Let's see how that goes. I'll just uh, put some simple colors on them as well. I'll use the simple UV technique that I've used in many of the, my other videos. You can check out the link in the description if you want to see a little video where I set up my start scene. It's very few tweaks, nothing complicated. Create a very simple texture. I'll link to the texture file as well so you can download that one. And I just make some viewport changes and add uh, two add-ons now. It's going to be the bool tools, really handy, and also the auto uh, mirroring, auto mirroring. So thanks a lot for everyone who suggested that I should start using those. They are actually saving time. But without further ado, let's get started straight away. Let's model some cars. Go! Tab into edit mode. A, scale on the left side. G, move it to green here. Scale the mesh. Y, 2. And then let's grab the bottom face here. Shift space G and move it into place here. And then now let's do uh, control E to subdivide the edges here. And let's do two cuts here. Slide this one back. E to extrude it up, scale it down. And then shift right click here, shift A for a cylinder. Let's change it to 10 faces. R, Y, 90 degrees side view, uh, control, and then rotate it on R, scale it down for the wheelhouses here. That should be okay. And then change the color here to green as well. That'll make it better cut. Shift D, duplicate it, move it to here. And then now with L, and then uh, let's see, I'm okay there, move it out a bit. Uh, P, separate it to an object, select this object, shift, select that one, control, shift, minus, and then now let's do auto uh, mirror for this one. Yeah, that's good. And uh, go into edit mode again, shift, tab, move this one forward, front view, make a bumper here, uh, scale it down, G to move it down, and G to move it up to here, make it gray, shift D, G, move it here, and let's make it white for a number plate, shift uh, D again, uh, right click and then disable clipping air, make headlights, Shift uh, actually make that one yellow, shift D, make a rear view mirror, scale it down a bit, uh, change that one to green as well, scale it down, and then let's move this mirror back to here where it needs to be, and uh, now actually shift D, let's make a door handle as well, so these are just faces for now, we're going to change those in a second, shift speed. scale X into there and move it back to here, and then change that one to grey, now I'll shift select all of these, E to extrude them, and uh, control R, let's make this one, control plus here as well, make an indicator light here. And for the rear view mirror here, let's do I to inset, E to extrude in, and change it to a blue window color there. And then E to extrude, or a glass color scale, move it down, front view, G, okay. And now let's do uh, select L here, select all these linked ones, shift D, and duplicate them for the back here and that should be okay. And then uh, L to select this one, um, select the yellow here and change that one to red for the taillight. Now we need a wheel, so shift space, cursor to selected, side view, shift A, cylinder, and uh, let's rotate, clipping is off, that's good. Rotate Y90, scale it down, G, scale it up, that's okay. Clipping back on, scale X, move it into place, and uh, A, scale UVs to zero, make it tire, I to inset, E to extrude, you know the drill, I to inset, E to extrude, control plus twice, change the rim color to gray, shift select a few of the spokes here, E to extrude and change that to black, side view again, uh, and then L to select the whole wheel, shift D and move it into place here. And then now we need to duplicate this car, so I'll tab out of that one, make sure clipping is on ya. Shift D, X minus three, and then do, let's a whole bunch of cars, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then uh, let's edit this one, delete to focus on it. How am I doing? 641, control R, it's okay. And then um, that one's done, I think. So next car, let's make a little smart car here. Seven, one, uh, Alt Z to see all the vertices here. Slide this one into place, make it a little bit smaller. Alt set again to see it. Let's move this whole thing forward, including the door handle. Actually, the door handle can't go forward, can it? <laughs> uh, slide this one back. Control R, make a window here. Actually, let's bring the roof down. It's going to be a small car. Next, actually, let's colorize this as well. It should be pink, maybe. Okay, next car. Uh, let's make an estate here. So tab, let's move that one forward, and this one forward. And uh, we need to move the, the whole wind mirror forward as well. 
Now select the vertex here and snap them into place here for the estate or the station wagon. Slide this one back. Control R, let's make uh, some more windows. L to select this one. Uh, Shift D to duplicate it. A, let's change the whole color to that. Okay, now let's make a pickup truck. So let's bring that, actually let's bring the whole forward. This one needs to go forward in that one too. So 527, let's bring this one forward as well. That one back a bit <laughs> and forward. Uh, control R for the window here. Um, three I to inset, B to get that on center. Bring the bed down, that's okay. A to select everything, let's make uh, the pickup brown. And make a van now, utility van or whatever. So G, let's actually, I need to make, bring this forward as well so I can see. And G, oh, G, snap that one. L, bring this forward. Bring this forward as well, the door handle. And then we need to snap these all the way to the back here as well. Oh, I keep getting it wrong. Uh, G, and G, and let's bring this one back. So I've got auto merge on now, so that's good. And uh, control R, get this here as well. Eight, select everything, change the colors to white. 431, okay. That's done, let's make a police car. So let's do a tab here. Actually, we can just keep most things here the way it is. We'll just uh, A, select everything and make it white. And uh, do a knife cut here to there. And a knife cut here to here. And then I'll just select a few of these faces and make them black, like a police car color, uh, like that. And G, make it black. Let's inset up here on this. Uh, roof and uh, let's bring it out back e to extrude control plus and then change that color to blue and then control r for a window here as well again and uh, let's make a, a sports car so tab bring this one down maybe back a bit let's bring the mirror with us and this one too a select everything change the color here to red uh, make a little wing here 331, okay, and move it back down. And let's make a little cooler bonnet as well. So let's bring this down a bit. Uh, K for a knife cut up to here. Three E to extrude, S to scale, and uh, inset here, and uh, make it out a bit, scale Y. Oh. Uh, e to extrude, ooh, it's gonna be a big intake here, so it's gonna be muscle car, G. Do I to inset this one and E to extrude control plus and then G here. And then now let's make a limousine. So top view here. Actually, do I have a window for the oh, no control R and then we need to move this to the window back. So 250. So limousine here for this one. One it's top view here and one alt Z to see everything. Um, bring all the way back to there. Alt Z. Bring this one down. Uh, a, select everything, make a dark limo here. That's it, control R, let's make some things here. Shift space for a few of those. And then now let's make a lorry, if I can. Uh, bring that one forward, bring this one forward. And we need to shift this forward, L, L, there. And uh, let's see, top view, alt Z, two minutes to go. Uh, let's make a lorry here somehow. Alt Z again. Uh, three. Uh, I to inset. Or no, actually, let's do a loop cut here. Just to there. E to extrude. Uh, make it a bit higher and back maybe. <laughs> Control R. And let's bring this one in as well. Okay. And now let's just make a little hatchback here as well. So I've got 140. Do we need to change the color here? So A, select everything. Let's just make a white lorry or a gray one. And then a little hatchback here now as well. I've got 130 to go. I need to do the windows as well. So I'll just do control, snap that one to there and snap that one to there. Move this one back and down, control R. That should do, okay. And then we need to change the color. So 117 <laughs> and yellow. Okay, let's do all the front windows now. So I'll select all the vehicles, tab into edit mode on all of them. Uh, shift select all the front windows and one minute, four seconds to go. Let's do all the rear windows here as well. Oh, I'm shaking now. I hope I can, no, not that one. All of these windows. 
54 seconds. Uh, I to inset. Didn't work. I to inset. Alt E to extrude long normals. And then A scale zero, 42 seconds to go. And let's do all the side windows now as well. So I'll shift click all of these. 33 seconds to go. And here. And then I to inset and I to inset again. So we get individuals. Yeah, that's right. 19 seconds. Alt E extrude long normals down to there. A scale. 13 seconds to go. G. And get the window color to there. And we're done. I've got six seconds to spare. What should I do? Ah. Okay, time's up. Hope I didn't forget anything now. My ambition was to do eight cars, but then I thought maybe I can make 10. Another one down in the books, guys. So maybe not as close as the last one, but a little bit too close for comfort yet again. So uh, it seemed to have been possible. I hope I didn't break any geometry. Again, the uh, topology is uh, not uh, really up to spec if you want to do a subdivide and, and things like that. But for a low poly game or a prototype, this should be perfectly fine or a mobile game. The topology is only important if you want to add detail or if you want to change the mesh, uh, for example, bend it or something like that. And that's not really going to be the case in this. So this type of topology should work perfectly fine if you just want to have those uh, cars driving around on a mobile phone game or something like that. Oh, guys, I nearly forgot to give you a tip as well this week, but let's bring one in. So uh, something I did in this one was I grabbed one of the cars. Let's center on this one with a delete key. And uh, I pressed Shift D. And then instead of moving it into place, I wanted to snap it by a secure distance. So I pressed X and then I typed minus three to give it adequate space between the cars. And then what I did was I pressed Shift R a few times because I wanted to duplicate the action that I did. And Shift R is repeating the previous action. So that'll do the same duplicate X minus three. And, and I did that 10 times to create the 10 cars. You could use the array modifier, but I don't want to use that one for this because uh, if I use the array modifier, then I've also gotten a mirror modifier on it and that would basically duplicate a whole bunch of uh, half mirrored cars and it breaks it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching yet another episode of my 10 minute uh, modeling challenge. So this has been episode number 12. And if you haven't seen the previous ones, make sure to check out my channel history and check those out as well. But anyway, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm looking for forward to seeing you next week for another 10 minute build. So until then, take care and have a great week. Bye for now.